Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. Have you ever wondered why when women gain excessive weight, they do so below the waist and men do it in their belly? I guess, no. <laughs> well, people who do gain weight do care about that. More important, they care about how did that happen and what can I do about it? Yeah. I want to take you on another journey into medicine because anyone who's gaining excessive weight, there's can be one, two, three, four, five significant reasons, and this can be one of them. Yeah. There's an enzyme that's distributed throughout the body, though not exactly the same in men and women, called LPL, lipoprotein lipase. And what it does when it's active is it starts taking fat out of the bloodstream and depositing in the cells. Yeah. Now, it is suppressed by sex hormones estrogens in women primarily, and yeah. testosterone in men, which accounts for the fact that a lot of adolescents who are just bursting forth with these sex hormones yeah. are very thin. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. Yeah. And then we tend to see declines in the sex hormones, often beginning in the 20s and 30s, and of course abruptly at the middle of life. Lipoprotein lipase is distributed differently in men and women. In women, the cells that relate to the waist, the hips, and the buttocks tend to be more abundant in LPL, whereas in men, the LPL is more concentrated in the abdomen. Thus, as sex hormones decline and the LPL is unleashed from being suppressed, the weight accumulations are different, primarily in men and women. Got it. So this isn't necessarily a beer gut on men, that's something else. That's correct, although it can be related to excessive intake of alcohol as well. Yeah. But primarily it's a stress belly, depletion of sex hormones. Yeah. There it goes. All right, other than get depressed because we're all losing these sex hormones, is there anything we can do about this? Absolutely. And we're going to have a lot to say about it, and I wonder, doctor, and partially it's how we relate to stress that we don't deplete the sex hormones earlier in life than they need to be. Yeah. And then also the whole subject of menopause and andropause, we're oh, going to cover yeah. it royally. <laughs> Great. Thanks. You're welcome.